Hi, meditators. Welcome to Meditate and Heal. I'm Nakisha. I pray that you all are doing well, accomplishing your goals, reaching new heights, and all that good stuff. And really quickly, can we just talk about how good the gift of the Holy Spirit is and how we get that gift? The Holy Spirit is amazing. It has the power to turn every crooked path straight, to bring every negative thought down and create a God thought make us stronger to help us to grow through anything that that we encounter not get through but to grow through anything that we encounter the holy spirit has that power where we just feel like we are walking on clouds when we sit back and we allow the holy spirit to guide and lead us and we take the back seat to get that we have to seek god first when we seek God first, God will bless us with the gift of the Holy Spirit. But first, we have to seek him before anything that we do, before we start our day, before we encounter our children and our spouse, before we start working on a project, before we go visit a friend, before we start running errands, before we start taking care of the dog, before we start doing anything in our life. If we seek God first, invite him in and obey him, we will then receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is going to help us continue to walk with God throughout our days. When we're feeling weak, the Holy Spirit will immediately speak to us and let us know that God is with us. That there is nothing too hard for him. When we're feeling tired, like we can't go on, like we want to give up, the Holy Spirit will come in and tell us that where we are weak, God is strong. And that he is ordering our steps. And that the battle is already won. When we feel like we want to clap back on somebody, the Holy Spirit is there to tell us, Hey, this battle is not yours. Love God and love your enemies. And God will handle the rest. This is not your fight. God will take care of them. When the Holy Spirit speaks to you, it helps you to keep moving forward. To remain focused on your purpose. Because nothing that the enemy throws at you is worth taking your mind away from your purpose. John 14, 15 says, If you love me, obey my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. So when your mind wants to go the other way, when you're feeling weak or you're in your flesh or you're in your head, the Holy Spirit is your advocate. He's there to always be with you, to encourage you, to lift you up, to help you stay focused and to remember what God has said to you about you and what he's going to do for you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him but you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you no I will not abandon you as orphans I will come to you so he'll never leave you in a sad state of mind disappointment confusion the Holy Spirit will always be there for you to help you grow through these situations. Soon the world will no longer see me, but will see me. Since I live, you also will live. When I am raised to life again, you will know that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. So now you and the Holy Spirit is one, because you start seeking God and obeying Him, inviting Him in before you encounter any situation. Now God has gifted you the Holy Spirit to keep you fearless, faithful, focused, and loving. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my Father will love them and I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. I don't know about you guys, but I want God to keep revealing himself to me. In order to do that, I have to keep seeking him so that the Holy Spirit can keep revealing to me God's will 
and my purpose. That I can have an abundant life full of blessings, freedom, and peace. Also, the Holy Spirit just deals with situations way better than we can. Whole nother level. In a way that you're so grateful that it happened this way. You learn something from it. Everyone learns something from it. It's just the way that the Holy Spirit does things. It's so powerful and meaningful and beautiful. It's better that he leads. If you want the Holy Spirit to continue to lead you, keep seeking God. And that gift will follow you all the days of your life.